All right, I'm going to try to pause um, each little step to show you. So, I took the yellow wires from the heating element, the burner eye, and ran them through those holes that was already at the bottom of the refrigerator. The black wire coming from the fan, I did the same thing, ran in those holes that's already coming out the bottom of the refrigerator. I took the light that was installed at the top of the refrigerator. Something that you're going to need is a light, and it already comes in the refrigerator, so that's free as well. I drilled a hole through the top of the refrigerator, about just big enough to let the wires through, probably a little too big, um, because my power is going to be at the top anyways. So, I'm just going to take these screws that already came out of this and put them right back in, and I'll... Uh, bring you in for the next step all right so next you're going to make marks I don't know if you can see the little black marks yeah you can see them uh, in the middle you're going to measure from the back you're going to measure from the back end all the way to I like to use this little guide mark but if you don't have a guide mark you want to see where your door comes in like my door don't come in that far my door probably comes in about that far but you want to leave about two inches of space for the air to travel up past your um, trays. So, you make your mark in the middle from this to this. Mine is 20 inches, so I have a mark at 10 inches. You do your same thing at the bottom. See, I have a mark here and I have a mark here on both sides. Mark, mark. Yeah, mark, marks. Okay. And then. You take you a bore here with about an inch. Make can get away with an inch and a half, but I like to use an inch. I mean, inch and a half would be too much. You can get away with a uh, a half inch maybe, but I like to use an inch. I think inch is best because uh, it allows the air to flow past the trays on the side as well. Um, but you want to take a stick or board, not a stick, but you want to take a board. My board is one inch by about... Uh, two inch two yeah one by two um, and then what you want to do is you want to measure your, uh, about six inches from the top and make a mark on your board six inches from the top that's where your first tray want to be at you want to do that because your tray is going to turn this all the way up to be up here once it turns um, so you want to mark six inches from the top then you make another mark since six inches down and you keep down to the bottom of your board this board is uh, 36 and three quarter inch 36 three fourth is what that is and then after you make your marks on your board you want to drill little cubbies in it like that right there this one I've drilled a little too close so what I'll do is I'll uh just shave that off right there just cut that off so that way my trays is going to go in here and have this rounded bottom to be able to turn on back and forth so you just keep cutting those grooves in all the way down on each line I just did a couple of them because I'm about to go eat dinner and I just want to finish this little video off to show you how to do that and then you're just going to take it and you're going to drill it against there but I'm going to come back and show you exactly what I'm talking about past there but that'll get you you just do that all the way down on that board and you do it all the way down on your second board and then that'll give you your left side and your right side uh, that's the end of this video so I'll see you on the next one